Okay. Hello, welcome. My name is Leanne. I'm a registered and licensed dietitian, and I have a degree in culinary arts. And I'm so excited to partner with CDR Naturals to provide to you a cooking demonstration today. This recipe is a Parmesan roasted cauliflower. I love roasting because it's not a cooking method where you have to stand in front of the stove and constantly watch what's on top of the stove. You can prepare your meal or whatever you're going to be roasting, put it in the oven, and then set the timer and come back to it. So if you have a little baby like I do, it's very helpful. So today um, we're using half a head of cauliflower. Um, depending on how many people you're going to be feeding, you could do a whole head, but today we're doing half a head of cauliflower. I have half of a sliced yellow onion. I'm also using four cloves of garlic, and these are just roughly chopped garlic. I'm using dried thyme today. This is a tablespoon. You can also use fresh thyme. Um, probably about four sprigs would be enough. I have avocado oil today that I'm using. This is about three tablespoons. You could also use olive oil. Uh, I'm just trying to use a plant-based oil because that's more heart healthy. And then I have some sea salt and I have some black pepper. And then this is two ounces of Parmesan cheese. And if you follow a vegan diet or if you don't eat Parmesan cheese, a great substitute would be nutritional yeast. Um, it has a cheesy, nutty flavor and it works just the same. It tastes great. All right, so making our recipe, I'm going to add every ingredient to the cauliflower except for the Parmesan cheese. That's gonna come a little bit later. So I have my cauliflower in the bowl. I'm gonna add my yellow onion. I'm gonna add my garlic. Love garlic. Come from an Italian family. Thyme. This is the avocado oil. Sprinkle of black pepper. Sprinkle of salt. And then I'm just gonna mix everything together. And I'm gonna put this on a lined baking sheet. You do wanna make sure that your oven is preheated to 425 degrees before you start this. Once that's mixed up, I'm gonna put it on my baking sheet. I can already smell the garlic. Just kind of spread that out. And then we're gonna put this in the oven at 425 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. So that is in a, an electric oven. If you have a convection oven or a gas oven, your timing may be a little bit different. Also, depending on how much time you have for dinner, if you wanna cook it longer, it's gonna be more tender. If you don't cook it as long, it's gonna have more of that bite, that crunch to it. So just keep in mind that depending on what type of oven you're cooking this in, you may have a little bit different in time. But on average, I'm gonna start in the oven at 35 minutes. Our cauliflower has been in the oven for about 35 minutes. I've just pulled it out and I'm gonna add the Parmesan cheese now. Just gonna sprinkle that over all of my cauliflower. And I'm gonna put this back in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. Let that Parmesan melt on there. All right, so we've just pulled our cauliflower out of the oven after that additional 10 minutes after we sprinkled the Parmesan on. This smells great. It's crispy on the outside, it's tender on the inside. My family loves this recipe and I know that your family is going to love it too. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are very excited to provide this cooking demonstration to you and we can't wait to share the next one with you in the future.